This session is going to cover objects, life expectancy by year. I think the next step we want to do here would be to visualise what we um, produced. We want to link what we've done with the wrangling um, into our ggplot. So we want to put this bit of code, which produces a new data frame, into this argument here, ggplot data equals, plug that into the first argument of the ggplot function. Now that could look like this, but it, it looks a bit cumbersome. And it's often better to, to keep the wrangling aspect a uh, separate part of your script. So I often have a section for data wrangling and then a section for all my plots. Better to keep the wrangling separate to the plotting. It's also better to keep your code as well. It's always better to keep your code readable. I mean, this is less readable than an alternative that I'm going to show you. So the solution is to take this bit of code and to give it a name. So what you're doing is replacing this with just these letters here. One issue is the name is actually surprisingly hard. So I could name this bit of code Grace, but that's not particularly suitable. Even though Grace is a lovely name, uh, it's, not, it's not suitable for this bit of code. We won't use Grace. What we really want are object names. So good object names are they're descriptive, they're short-ish. I mean, you don't have to worry too much about that because you've got the autocomplete function and whatever name you give to this piece of code, uh, GG, uh, sorry, RStudio should, should provide an autocomplete for that. And they should be consistent with the style of other names, a consistent format as well. And we do this uh, with the assignment operator, which is this. And the shortcut for this operator here, this arrow, is Alt minus. I've just decided that I want to call this life exp. Um, just a very simple short name. I know, I know roughly what it's uh, referring to, it's life expectancy. <laughs> I'd, I'd structure the code like this. I'd start with the name that I want to give and then I'd include the assignment operator and then include the rest of the code. The result of this code on the right to this object on the left. And it should appear in your environment window. Uh, we can just then type this command here or this line here and run it and it will produce the same result as if we were to run all these lines here. So you can do that by with uh, in the editor control enter. So examine the result of that as we did with uh, the MPG and Gapminder by just clicking on life expectancy and it will bring it up. So let's return to the plot. Um, before we had uh, ggplot and then we stuck the whole code in there in the data argument. Assigning this code to an object means that we can now replace this code with this code. And of course we don't need to include the uh, data equals within the ggplot function. We can just uh, use shorthand and just, just type the name of the object. So your turn now is to um, plot the trend in mean life expectancy for Africa, then you may require these functions using ggplot and then layer up John line and John point. We were executing all these um, lines of code uh, without assigning them and they all <laughs> appeared in the, the console and, and that's good if you just want to do some uh, transitory tasks or just, just get an idea of um, what a data frame looks like, but re realistically, lots of the time you are creating objects that you will later refer to when plotting. So um, yes, it's an important part of R.